Hi guys, we're here with BlackOvis.com today with Greg Pearson. Now Greg's our rep with Sitka Gear. Uh, he's gonna take us over the, the new Sitka Delta waiter uh, today and just, yeah, go ahead, Greg, take it away. All right, thanks, Judson. Um, this, uh, this waiter project has been four years in the making. Really, really excited that it's launching now. We, um, we basically wanted to take a whole new approach to building waders for the waterfowler. And, uh, and I think you'll see um, as we dive in here um, with all the, all the benefits and features that we've done just that. One thing we're really excited about these waders is, is that they are made in the US. There's some really unique perks that come with that and Greg will go over those. Yeah, one of them um, is that we offer a huge range of sizes. Um, because of the process and the waders are built, we can, we can basically adapt to the market and offer 38 sizes in two OptiFade patterns in a zip and a non-zip version. Uh, the other really, really cool thing about working with this great partner in the U.S. is the waders are serviceable. Yeah, and that's, that's one huge thing. A lot of people are just like, whoa, that, that is an expensive waiter. Why are they charging so much for that waiter? And that's a big part of it. When you're buying a, a Sika Delta waiter, you're, it's not just a waiter you're going to buy just to throw away in a couple of years. You can service them. You can, you can patch them. You can fix them. You can remove the boot um, if, if you want to. And, they, and yeah, they'll, they'll put it back together. But it's really just, I mean, it's really Sika style in that you're not just, you know, buying a piece of gear to throw away. You can have it for the long haul. The idea here is it's kind of like your duck boat. You wouldn't pound it really hard for a year and then throw it away. Uh, same thing with your waders. You're going to pound these, run them through the run them through the paces in a quick and timely manner. You can ship those in to, uh, to our factory partner. They're going to do the necessary repairs if they're beyond a simple field repair and uh, have those waders back to you in no time. Uh, really, really cool setup. Nice. Cool. Um, the next thing we'd like to go over is the fact I mean, the, the, the Gore-Tex layering system. A lot of you guys are familiar with, with Gore-Tex, what it is. I mean, it's waterproof, it's breathable, it's got some really good features to it, but it's, it's actually pretty, pretty unique with, you know, with the way that it's built. And Greg can go over that. Yeah. So um, one of the things, a, a, a part of this four-year project of building these waders is we, we wanted to go outside of the box of what existed um, already as far as the laminate, the Gore-Tex laminate itself. Here I've got a little swatch of it. So um, um, instead of just using the existing three-layer or five-layer, we wanted to take a different approach and say we want it as breathable and as lightweight and pliable and comfortable as a three-layer, but we want it as, as, as bomber or beyond uh, um, durability of a five-layer. So um, Gore-Tex went to the drawing board and created a new laminate um, just for this project. It's a four-layer Gore-Tex. Um, it, it's absolutely, even with the, the bar set high, exceeded our expectations in durability, breathability, and comfort. Right. And it's cool. As you can see here, I mean, I've got these on. I mean, just the, the, the ability to move, you know, for a duck wader, especially if you're used to like a neoprene wader where it's, where it's going to be heavy, pretty, pretty warm and doesn't breathe virtually at all, you know, going to something where it's not just a, a breathable wader, but, but it's something that you can move in. It's, it's going to be just bomber waterproof, you know, and very durable for, for the hardcore hunter. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, everything you expect from Gore-Tex and then next level. So really excited about that. Um, another partner that, that we partnered with um, on this waiter is Lacrosse on the boot. So we wanted to build a little bit different boot than existed out there before. Um, one that's really, really lightweight. Have folks try it on, uh, like Judson has them on now. I think Kendall's comment was, I could, go, I could go jogging in these. Really, really comfortable boot, but designed to not let that sticky mud suck them off your feet. Um, it's actually a little bit different style of a boot as well and that this, this neoprene right here that you can see, 7 mil, mil 7 mm neoprene actually goes throughout the boot. Um, it's the complete booties in there, your foot's encased in there. And then we've, we've got this hard rubber, um, you know, pliable soft, but very, very durable rubber outer shell um, with a great sole for traction in the mud to, to go with that. Um, this boot um, is going to insulate at about an equivalent of a 1500 gram uh, kind of warmth factor, just to kind of give you a heads up there. Okay. And when you were talking earlier about like being able to replace this boot, do you know where on that that they would go through and replace that? Can you yeah. show us that? So if, if you had a complete, you know, some kind of complete failure uh, with the boot, it'd be real easy to send it back to, to Kokatat. This, this system here is the magic. Um, no one's done a boot like this before where we can, we can pull this all apart, detach that boot, put a whole new boot on, and away you go. You're back in service. Okay. Cool. 
So, uh, Judson, let's talk about some of the features in this wader. Um, we'll kind of go uh, uh, top to mud on this one. <laughs> um, so, first thing we'll talk about is Sika's really unique approach to our suspender system on this. Um, uh, most of the waders that, uh, that I've ever worn at some point in here have a buckle and that buckle can end up on your shoulder, under your coat. Uh, if you're really unlucky like me and you tighten it down here, it's right where your gun stock might go. It, it kind of gets in the way. Uh, it's extra weight. And uh, so they came up with a really neat way, really slim trim profile. And then down here, let me unhook this, stays in there pretty good. But basically we just have this really simple buckle system and we have all these different notches. Um, once you find, find your size, Thread that baby through there, get it in. Once it's in, it's pretty well locked in. It's not uh, the way it works. It can't come out. And then there's a little, uh, a little piece inside here of webbing to then stuff that out of the way. And once you're set, it's kind of set it and forget it. Uh, you're, you're good to go, especially with the zipper waiter that yeah. Judson has on. Super easy to unzip sure. that, pull those straps off, there. way you go. Never have to, to adjust that. Yeah. Cool. Um, so the next thing uh, that we got to is the zipper. So this is a, a completely waterproof bomber Y2K Aqua Seal zipper. Uh, new one to the market, 100% waterproof, and um, really able to get in there, access uh, stuff while, while not having to take your jacket off. Uh, the other style of waiter we do is uh, for those that don't want that zipper and want a, a true pass through hand warming style pocket. So you kind of have your option there, waterproof zipper or full chest with pocket through. So a um, couple things as we go through the through here, we have a highly water resistant zipper uh, with some outside, outside pockets here. And then Judson has his hands in the hand warmer pockets, light fleece uh, to keep your hands warm on a, on a frosty day. Right, yeah, it's definitely not a muff with like big thick fleece yeah, or anything right. like that, real, but yeah. yeah. Real lightweight. We didn't want anything that, that, uh, that would, could soak up a lot of water. So it's a really, really light treat um, on that fleece. So next step down is the wading belt. I'll kind of move, move this around here. The, um, the wading belt comes with, uh, with this little D-ring, which is uh, just a really nice little feature for those of us that hunt. Uh, Texas style decoy rigs where, where we're going to have a dozen or so decoys on a carabiner. Boom, clip them on there. Um, while I'm grabbing my other decoys, I'm just towing that dozen across, you know, the, the shallow water or whatever. Um, but, um, Andy, just kind of a quick little easy access to, uh, to clip something on. Just kind of a cool little side feature. Um, won't go, go into great detail on the fit. We have so many different sizes, but, uh, but what folks uh, notice when they try them on, if they're used to a lot of kind of classic fit duck, um, duck hunting waders, is that they just fit really well and they feel really, really comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of that has to do with the design and where the seams are and, uh, and the fit there. So the next thing up we'll talk about is knee pad. And um, it's, there's a little bit of padding there combined with a really, really bomber extra layer. And the knees on any wader are typically a really high wear area. You can imagine busting through bull rush and, and stuff like we do when we're in the marsh. Um, those knees are just gonna take the brunt of it. So by covering that up with that extra layer, we really protect that Gore-Tex, keep it waterproof. And, um, and then by adding that little bit of padding there, those of us, uh, I fish, or I, excuse me, I hunt all the time in 18 inch deep water and uh, we're post holing through that inch of ice and, and just busting your shins and knees the whole time on it. So that's a really nice feature, climbing in, in and out of boats, uh, in and out of blinds, busting ice, and just protecting that wader. That's cool, it does go pretty far down too. I mean, really it covers a good portion of your shin as well. Yeah, right, really right. And then um, um, on the boot, itself right here on the front. This kind of looks, this little Sika logo and this little film here, kind of the, the that just adds a, um, another protective layer. That film is, um, is just highly, highly puncture resistant. Be really, really hard, even, uh, even folks hunting in the timber and, and walking through sticks and barbs and everything. That's just uh, an extra layer there to protect the front of that neoprene and kind of that high, high wear area. That's, uh, that's about it, Judson. Cool. Um, 
Awesome. Well, thank you, Greg, for uh, coming and showing us, you know, all about the waiter. These are a really high anticipated item. You know, get it, get them while you can, at least for this first year. They're going to be really, really, um, yeah, really, really short in supply. So, you know, get on, uh, get, you know, get them while you can. It'll be awesome. But yeah, thanks again, Greg. And, and for thanks those, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks to you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. We're going to have a lot more gear videos coming your way.